for protests such as this end bad governance to work, the general populace needs to educate and reorientate the Nigerian police. And what do I mean by this? What I mean is for months before the date of the protest taking place, we need to go to the police, go to their police stations, go to the mess, to, to the police mess where they stay, go and talk to their friends, to their relatives, to their wives, educate them and enlighten them on the essence and the benefits that they start to gain with the protest, with a successful protest, the, the benefits that the police themselves they start to gain. We need to educate them, enlighten them, let them see the light at the end of the tunnel. The reason is because the Nigerian police force, they've over the years, they've been brainwashed to oppress the citizens. So even though this, whatever the citizens are going through is also affecting the police because they themselves, they are on low pay grade. They themselves, they, they sometimes, they don't even get their pay. They have, they have poor, they have been treated poorly. It's not like they are making money or they, their salary is enough for them. And they themselves, they are going through a lot under this government. But because they've been branded, they've been brainwashed over the years, they oppress the citizen. That alone is joy to them. For a policeman, even though he doesn't have money, he doesn't have food, as long as he knows that he can oppress his fellow citizen, that alone is more than millions of naira to him. So for you now to not tell, to not believe that a policeman would not want to oppress during protest, it's going to be hard. So the only way we can achieve this is by is by enlightening them, by reorientating them to see the gains and the benefits that they stand to gain once the protest is successful once the government starts to behave the right way once the government starts to have the interest of its citizens at heart that is the way that we can get the police and the army on the side of the citizen because we need like three to six months to first of all orientate the police go to their wives go to their kids go to their relatives talk to them so that they will understand tell them to to talk to their to their uh, brothers, their husbands who are policemen. We try and reach out to the policemen themselves. Let them understand. Basically, get the police on the side of the people. That is, we get lawyers, we get prominent people in the society, we get influencers to go and reach out to the police themselves. That way they understand. It's not as if they don't feel the pressure the, the government is giving them, but because they can oppress the fellow citizen, that alone is joy to them. So we need to reorientate and, you know, get them on the side of the people because at the end of the day these politicians that the general populace are fighting are facing to 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 act right to do the right thing that they were voted for these politicians it is police that they use against the people you can see that no politician has even been able to go and address the protesters that is how coward they are they are so fearful of the people it is only the police they can send Instead of them to come and even address, because the protesters are not even demanding for, for anything other than good governance. Mm. For them to just go address these protesters, they can't even do it. They are so lazy, they are so coward, they can't do it. They will send police. So since it is the police they send, it is time for the general populace to also talk to the police ahead of each protest, not during. So whatever the outcome of this current protest is, let us learn from it that from going forward, three months, six months before the protest, we need to go to each police station, go to every officer's mess, go to every nook and cranny where there's police officer, explain to them, carry them along, and we'll see that they will stand by the people, they will do the people's choice, and that way we can have a very successful protest. And my big question is, after this protest, what next? What next? What next?